<laughs> I'm so excited to say I stopped recording and there are people who watch this later on YouTube. So coming, we are starting at Ephesians 1, 17. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You know, God loves us so much. He, he's in the smaller things of, you know, you didn't start recording. I said, thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he's in love with us, man. Ephesians 1, 17 says, the God of our Lord, Yeshua, the Messiah. I'm reading from CJB, right? And let me tell you, the more you get to know your father, you will be surprised and you'll be astonished that the smallest details of life he is with you. You know, and it's so amazing that he wants to get into your everyday life. And don't keep him out. Don't keep him out. Don't keep God for, you know, that mega event or the big thing. Let him be involved in the small thing. And the joy that you'll experience is wonderful. And yes, let me, let me, let me, let me go ahead. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 says, The God of our Lord Yeshua, the Messiah, the glorious Father. He says, I pray. So verse 16 says, I pray and I ask. Right? And asking comes from a place of belief. You ask only the person who you can receive in return. You ask basis the capability of the, uh, the person you are asking. Right? You will not ask, you know, uh, you know, we have Ruben Barboza with us. You will not ask Ruben Barboza to drive you home because you know right now he is not does not have car he does not have driving license so you will not ask him but you will ask somebody you know who has a driving license like me for for me or I, can, I know i have i don't know about others you know to drive you home because you know i have a driving license i have a car so you ask basis you know the faith and the ability of the other person and that's how he's saying ask god because he's the giver of good things he says in verse 16 now i'm reading verse 17 the God of your, our Lord, the God of our Lord, Yeshua the Messiah, the glorious Father, not only is God, but the glorious Father, to give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation. To give you, and this is a wonderful prayer, you pray it for yourself, I do it. I am not telling you something that I don't do, I pray for myself, I do this for my family, I do it for you all. You know, there are times when I'm sitting and meditating and I just pray for all of you as your faces come. I say, Lord, give them the spirit of revelation and the, give them the spirit of wisdom and give me and I receive it. Right? The spirit of wisdom and revelation. Revelation is to reveal, is to lay bare, right? is to open up, reveal. God wants to show you all that he has prepared for you so that, so that you will have full knowledge of him. So that you will have full knowledge of him. And my question that I have today is knowledge. What do I know about my God? What do I know about my God? And even as we went, you know, in yesterday's service, you're we worshiping and, and we, we see the Lord. We know my God is good. My God is merciful. My God is full of grace. My God is compassionate. But I want to do, introduce to you the God who is with you. I want to introduce to you the God who is with you. Let's go to Isaiah 41 verse 10. We have a lot of verses to talk about. I want to introduce to you a God who is with you. And he says Isaiah 41 verse 10. Don't, don't be afraid for I am with you. I'm reading from NLT. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Don't be afraid I am with you. Don't be afraid I am with you. Who are you with? You know we say with God. All things are possible with God, you and God with together. The with conjunction is a is a connector conjunction. I am with Sari. I am going home with this one, right? But when you read that verse, because the it says with God, and everybody sees, oh, with God, all things are possible. We keep acha God, you do, I sit here. No, God is saying with come partnership, you, me, together. And I'm gonna show you partnerships. I'm going to show you a with you God, you know, besides the situation. He says, don't be afraid for I am with you. I am the great I am. The creator of the universe says, I am with you. I am not with anybody else, but I am with you. Don't be afraid. You may be in a situation that is scary and that is okay. Right? That is okay. And don't, don't need to condemn yourself. Oh, don't be scared. It's okay to say, Lord, I'm, I'm afraid right now, but I know you are with me. But I know you are with me, right? And that is the step of faith and that is a confession, trusting in him as our source, not my strength. I am not scared of this. I am scared, Lord. But I know you are with me. So I tell myself, don't be afraid. 
because you are with me see how it works right don't need to change sometimes you are trying to put up a strong act sometimes you are trying to be bold and brave dar lag raha hai bolo ya dar lag raha hai new year wow thank you holy spirit new year 22 everybody saying naya saal but new things also bring their own scare with it what is going to happen this year what we are going to see this year where will we go this year everybody is excited about new but there is a scariness about something new right you know if you get a new job a new business everybody says wow new order new business but there is a element of some scariness what i'm going to do i don't know this customer i don't know this you know i don't know this new company how will the people treat me when you go to a new place every of us travel for holiday right but holidays have their own anxiety because when you go to a place you don't know right you are all researching reviewing finding hotel and people like meenal and rajesh who would veg they are fine trying to find all veg hotel and they are they, they want to know oh there should be veg place na so when people say hey, i am going to new place but there is some kind of scare right there is like sari and me when we go we try to find the be- cleanest hotels so that we she likes clean hotels there is where this hotel will be so there is right so we cannot just say oh no 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 i don't get afraid praise god you are strong but here i am going to use this was don't be afraid for i am with you why i am not afraid for he is with me i am not saying that i am strong so i am not afraid i am not saying because i am over qualified so i am afraid no for he is with me don't be discouraged for i am your god and every time you see i am your god make a circle and write there i am your source even the 10 commandments says i am your god and you shall not bow before so what is saying i am your god i am your source i am your giver of good things right i will strengthen you and help you i will strengthen you and help you i will hold you with my victorious right hand so god is saying my right hand as a victory i am holding you you don't worry of the outcome most of the times you are praying for outcome most of the times you are praying a solution to god and i am the person lord you know ek 10 crore deposit ho jayega na mera account mein lord everything will be okay i know i am the guy who is praying and i know you are not praying like this thing but i am going to be open lord if you just ek kidhar 10 crore ek right okay just me was praying that and you are praying the solutions but here in this verse the lord says i am with you i am with you so when god is with me i see lord you are my source do it your way not my way lord i trust you do it my your way let's see matthew chapter 1 verse 23 how the book of matthew starts this is the first time in the gospels considering matthew is the first book that is written that the name of jesus is introduced see the name of jesus is introduced in matthew this was already said in in isaiah but now you know gospel if you are reading the new testament first book first chapter verse 23 look the virgin will conceive a child this is angel gabriel talking to joseph look the angel will conceive a child she will give birth to a son and they will call him emmanuel what will they call him emmanuel which means god is with us the sending of jesus the celebration of christmas which we did last month actually you should celebrate christmas every day because jesus is with you god said i want to be with my people genesis 1 is god is with adam we didn't see don't see god sitting and coming after 3 years every day god visited adam go read genesis 1 and to that's why he knew the sound of god that's why every day in the cool of the evening adam and god were having a lovely evening walk enjoying the garden you know i want to tell you something you know what's the meaning of eden you know what's the meaning of eden eden means pleasure all you you know rabbis and scholars we have here in our miss all the greek and the hebrew scholars eden means pleasure so when god said garden of pleasure look at the creation god in say garden of hardship garden of big emi garden garden of pleasure and there god was coming as not as as adam's dad and dad and adam were walking and talking and enjoying garden of pleasure when god made man his original plan and even today his plan is that you stay in his garden of pleasure garden of eden 
garden of eden so every time you read pleasure in in the psalm he says that your right hand there are pleasure that means god is saying that's at my right hand is the garden of eden i i want to take you back i want to place you so that you think of being in a place that pleases you right if tell the lord say lord thank you for my garden of eden thank you lord that even as i am aware of your presence i will walk in the garden of eden okay now look at let's look at matthew chapter 28 we saw this while singing yesterday matthew 1 starts with his god with us what's the name god is using emmanuel god with us what an introduction he didn't say all powerful almighty god multi mus muscle very strong destroyer of sin executions of righteousness and justice nothing god with us are kuch to kadak naam rehna chahiye na right strong name right multi muscle man breaker of bondage no god with us god with us god is with us god is with us god is with me his creation the almighty omnipotent omniscient you know the mighty big god who made the universe who put the stars Who put the birds? Who did everything and made man says, "I want to be with you, Alistair. I want to be with you, Sahil. I want to be with you, Rajesh. I want to be with you, Ruben and Ruben, and with you, Abhi, and with you, Ronald, and with you, Leslie, and with you, Minal, and with you, Bhavmati. I want to be with you, Aida. Oh, I want to be with you, Jonita. God is saying, I want to be with you. God is saying, He wants to be with us." that's his name he gave his son every time you see jesus that is god with us every time you see christ is in me god is with me every time you feel mm, today is a bad day god is with us my source my provider my creator is sitting right here with me right here in me here in this room my house is a mess god is with us my life is a mess god is with us i got a big bonus god is with me i got some wonderful order god is with me i don't feel like it today god is with me he is not leaving you let's go and see matthew chapter 28 verse 20 matthew 28 verse 20 this is a very important aspect for us as christians to start developing that god is with me i may not feel right today but doesn't matter my feelings and my the presence of my father with me has no has no connection we are not the people who come into a presence we live in his presence we are not a people who go to church and raise our hands and when you sing three songs you feel the presence god is not based on your feelings oh i felt the presence of god no he is there with you even the time you don't feel it right you don't feel oxygen but is there with you you don't need to feel oxygen is there with you god is there like oxygen like air right there with you so whatever you feel i just want to say lord i feel mm, today or i feel good today i feel like having a pepsi today <clears throat> and lord i feel like eating extra carbohydrates today help me lord i don't want to eat them hey he is with you take the taste or help me digest it lord help me i don't know what to do talk to him he likes it don't have to go oh dear heavenly father every time how would you talk to a loved one do you go dear i never talk to sari oh dear loving beloved wife i just say yes, sari talk to him yeah aba hey dad dad i just don't feel right dad help me i can't understand this and he loves it because he goes to get involved in the day to day of your life oh man this is so exciting okay 20 was uh, matthew 28 was 20 i hope you are catching this and if you are not getting the verses let me know i'll send it matthew chapter 20 28 verse 20 nlt teach these new disciples to obey all the commands which i have given you and be sure of this and be sure of this and be sure so whatever you hear today or don't hear be sure of this be sure of this ye ye baat nakki hai hindi bolte hai na ye baat nakki hai कुछ नहीं ये बात नक्की है नो दे, दे नो कुछ नहीं बट ये बात नक्की है बी श्योर ऑफ दिस 
Now you have to look in the mirror and tell yourself, be sure of this, Alistair. Be sure of this. Be sure of this. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. Be sure of this. I am with you always. Emmanuel. His name started and what? No. Apne naam pe khara utra. Right? His name is Emmanuel and what God, what the angel said and what Isaiah said in chapter 7 verse 14. Isaiah 7 verse 14. Is there is where God said Emmanuel, Isaiah 8, Emmanuel. God went on saying from prophet Isaiah, Emmanuel, God with us. Right from chapter 1, God always wanted to be with us. There's not, he's not changed. He always wanted. That's why he said, send Jesus. So I can be with my children. I can be with my children. So, you know, I, I had this one question. Why God created me? Right? Why God created me? Right? He And some people think, oh, he wanted somebody to serve him. He has angels to serve him. Why God created me? God want, wants a family. He calls me son. He calls me, doesn't call me servant. I am a son who serves. Just like in the, in the natural, because my dad is a pastor, I serve because I am his son. But if I don't feel like serving, if I don't come to chosen generation, if I decide next Sunday, what will happen? Will me as the right of a son change? No. Because I am a son first and then I serve. Same way in the spiritual, Jesus the son who came to serve, we are the sons who serve. We are seated kings who stand up to serve. So if you ask yourself, why God created me? God didn't create you to sing songs to him. He created you so that he could love on you. He wanted to love on you. He wanted to love on you. He wanted to just love on you. And he said, let's make man. And he was excited. He said, let's make man. And the Trinity spoke, let's make man. How should we make? In our own image, in our own likeness. They are just like me. This, they are like me, they speak like me, they look like me, they talk like me, like me, like father, like son. Come on, man. In the natural, you are almost like your parents. You may like it or not like it. So also in the spiritual, you are saying you are God's child. You are God. A human's child is a human. Agree? If you don't agree, look at yourself in the mirror. Look at your parent or look at your children. Right, go say, oh, ye be human being and may be human being. So what about God? When he says, I am you are my son, and I'm with you, and family likes to be with each other. You know, sometimes we don't like having family around, but that does not matter. That does not matter. Family always stays together. Amen. Okay. Teach and be sure of this. I am with you always, 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 whether you're good, bad, ugly, not praying not doing hey your actions doesn't decide jesus has done all for you that's why he said on the cross it is finished now you have to rest in his finished works don't try hard to impress god he's already in love with you don't try hard to impress god he's already loves you he already loves you whether you come to church you don't ever come to church it's okay he still loves you because you love him and you want to meet your own brothers and sisters and you want to have fun, you come to church and that should be, hey, I want to meet my brothers. I want to hear what the Lord has done for them. I want to hear their testimony and I want to tell them what God has. You are bragging about your dad when you come to church. So that, you know, when we sing songs, you shouldn't need any, hey, we are singing for daddy. Let's sing, man. Let's sing. Come on. And even if I don't sing a song, he still loves me. Amen. Okay, let's go to John chapter 1, John chapter 1, look at John chapter 1 verse 14, today I am presenting to you, oh it's my, it's my joy and the pleasure of my heart to present to you my God who is with us, I am so excited about this fact that my eyes have opened you know as I am praying for myself the eyes of my understanding have been lit to see God is with me. God is with me. Okay, let's see. So the John chapter 1 verse 14. I am reading from NLT and then I will read from NKJV. Okay. So the word became flesh. We are reading NLT first. So the word became flesh and made home among and made his 
home among us i'm going to read it again so the word became human says nld the word became human the word the word became human today a lot of discussion chosen generation uh, chat group on the word the word became human he took flesh upon himself jesus god jesus took upon himself flesh he went from omnipotent to he he became flesh he became like you and me right he took on what are the you know the the restrictions of a flesh body come on he took the restrictions of a flesh body to be with you right the word became flesh the word became human and made his home among us he didn't come if he didn't come to be god he didn't come to be flesh he didn't come to be human to rule he said to be home he says i want to be part of your home christ is the head of the church you know as as the bible says the husband is the head of the house so you invite jesus say jesus you're part of my house and all you have about jesus you're part of my house let him sit in the dirty couch he does not mind let him be in the in the messed up house he does not mind he is home among you whenever we are not being good and arguing he is home among us whenever there is he is home among us whenever we you do whatever you do he doesn't leave you he says you are my home i'm staying with you he says because the bible says so i'm just here to remind us and get you know aware of the fact that he is with me he is with me and he is bigger than me so not only is with me is with you right now my faith is in jesus my faith is in jesus that he is sitting in your houses and wherever you are and he is talking to you i don't trust myself i trust my jesus that the words that i speak and he is the word and the word that we speak right now will come and make home in your house it will take flesh it will be real you will touch jesus he is human you can touch him you can shake his hand you can hug him you can talk to him and yes people will think you are crazy but trust me jesus is better than that the word became human and made his home among us he was full of unfailing love and faithfulness that is what is there at your home right now full of unfailing love and faithfulness we have seen his glory the glory of the father's one and only son not only is his love staying with you not only is faithfulness is staying with you but also the glory of the father is there right now wherever you go you may not see it you may not feel it that's all right we don't walk we don't walk by sight we don't walk by our feelings you walk by faith and there is where you say jesus you are with me right whenever you step out and you are going for traveling you know sometimes you pray lord jesus please be with us and jesus says when did i leave where did i go he's there right there all you can say thank you lord you are with me come on say this at home thank you lord you are with me you may be eating your dinner and that's okay thank you lord you are at this table thank you you didn't pray for your food but he still has blessed that food thank you lord you are with me thank you lord you are with me thank you lord you are with me yeah you are watching a movie jesus watches the movie with you and you can watch whatever you want with him right trust me you can you don't have to get all holy and oh jesus is here so let me try impress him hey he's been there with you ever since you were born okay let's go to the same verse john 1 was 14 in the in the nkjv it says the word became flesh and dwelt among us he wants to make home among us and we beheld his glory the glory as that of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth you need to know and i need to know that jesus is there with us here right now he is with me full of grace and truth so wherever i walk with jesus i am full of grace and truth i am full of grace and truth i am full of grace and truth grace is god's unmerited favor grace is what i don't deserve but <laughs> it's mine grace is favor grace is favoritism there are 10 20 people in the room you get chosen and people don't understand why because you are god's favored child they say that one's not qualified that one doesn't even look nice 
But God said, that's my child and I, she's, I, she's my favorite. There may be people around with bigger degrees and better looking than you, but God said, put his finger on you and say, that's my girl, that's my boy, my favorite. I don't care about the others. I am with him. So when you go for an interview, you go for a presentation, God is with you. Amen. Psalms 23. Psalms 23. Okay. What happens? God is with me, Alistair. Okay, I believe you. What happens when we walk through valleys? Where, where is God? When we walk through situations that we don't like, where is God? Why is this should happen to me, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Where are you, Lord? Mm. Psalms 23. Everybody knows Psalms 23. But look at Psalms 23, verse 4. Verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Even in that valley, maybe because of whatever funniness I have done or I need to walk in that valley for somebody else, I don't know. But I know one thing. I know one thing. What I know, for you are with me. For you are with me. For you are with me. Anybody walking through a valley, everyone, anyone walking through a dark place, anybody walking... I don't know when this is going to end. I know, I don't know. When. You are with me. So instead of praying, Lord, take away the valley and Lord, make this valley and we pray, Father, I thank you, you are with me. And what you are doing with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me, they comfort me, they keep me protected. They comfort me. You know, I was reading about the, in Exodus, the land of Goshen. Oh man, I wish I had put this notes here. The land of Goshen in Exodus, when all the plagues broke around, it didn't break in the land of Goshen. Only with their eyes they could see, even as Psalm 91 says, a thousand they fall at my side, a ten thousand at my right hand, but only with my eyes. Sometimes we think it's falling on us. No, no, God says you may be standing in the middle of everything falling around you, but only with your eyes you shall see, it shall not come near you. Oh, let's go to Psalm 91. Oh, let's go to Psalm 91. Oh, rip off. I am just going to just go to Psalm 91. Come on, man. God is with us. Say, God is with you, Alistair. And God is with me. And let's go to Psalms 91. Psalms 91 not part of the notes. But praise God. He is the boss. He is the one. Amen. Amen. Okay. Psalms 91, Psalms 91, Psalms 91. Okay. Psalms 91 verse 7. A thousand may fall at your side. Hey Lord Jesus. Just now Psalms 91 verse 1 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. Then nothing should happen. Now surely He will deliver me from the snare. He will deliver me. There is a snare. He will deliver me. Just because we pray Psalm 91, that doesn't mean that, Arre, kuch nahi hone wale. Kabhi kabhi kuch hota hai. Verse 7 says, A thousand may fall at your side. A thousand may fall at your side. Just imagine standing, a thousand people fall down. Ah, that means you, some place you are, right? Thousand people are falling. He's not saying one person fall at your side. Thousand. Thousand. Lot of people is thousand. Yaar. In my wedding, thousand people didn't come. Still, I felt the crowd was lost. 300 people were there in my wedding. I felt 300 was lost. 1,000. 1,000 people, a lot of people. And 10,000. God says, okay, let's multiply it by 10. 10,000 at your right hand. Right hand, 10,000. Look at your right hand, 10,000. Idhar gir gya. 1,000. Idhar gir gya. But it shall not come near you. It shall not come near you. 
tell yourself it shall not come near me see sometimes you are in the middle of it but it will not come near you because you are with god right you are there for a reason i don't know why you have to walk that walk right the lord alone knows you talk to the lord and he but talk to him knowing that he is with you right so that's why when we pray say lord you are my refuge we see we pray verse two we say lord he is my refuge he is my fortress my god in him i trust i trust in him irrespective of my surroundings i trust in him even if thousand are falling here even if ten thousand are falling here even if five thousand are falling back i trust in him because he is my source see the way you are praying and you pray lord help me to trust you Lord, help me to trust you. Help my unbelief as we saw this Sunday. Help me, Lord, to trust you. Help me, Lord. And that is a good prayer to pray. Most of the times I am praying, don't, I don't want to be in the thousand. I don't want to be with this ten thousand. Let them fall where they want to fall. I shouldn't be there. And sometimes you're saying, Lord, I shouldn't be anywhere where this valley is happening. Why, Lord, I'm in the valley? But my prayer today and, and my today is he is with me he is with me right and verse 8 says only with your eyes you will shall look and see the reward of the wicked wow let's go at a look at an interesting story but before we go see the interesting story we let's go and look at mr paul second corinthians 12 8 and 9 and we look at joshua also before we go to the story then we go to a nice story okay how many of you like stories i like stories how many of you like stories you can put thumbs up thumbs down don't tell me a story whatever second corinthians 12 8 and 9 nlt three times i begged the lord to take it away <laughs> Second Corinthians, I didn't write, Paul wrote. <laughs> this is not Second Alistair, this is Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians 12, 8 and 9, NLT. Three times I begged the Lord to take it away. Yes, this is my situation. This may be your situation. Three times I begged the Lord to take it away. We pray some, and Paul writes it. Lord, take this away. Lord, just take this away. कुछ भी उन्हें ये लेके मेरे को नहीं करने के, right, right. Sometimes in there 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 is a meeting which you know happens and I had to attend the meeting with the CEO of the company. Everybody was excited. I was excited, but I was praying, no, oh, take it away. I don't want to meet. कैसा बंदा है? Yes, I prayed. I said, Lord, take it away. I don't want to meet. Let my boss talk to him. मैं अपना काम करेगा. मुझे नहीं बात करना है. मैं ठीक है. जीजर है. I'm happy. I love you, Jesus. I know you love me and I prayed, I'm telling you this is my testimony, I prayed Lord and the Lord said, son, I'm giving you a chance to meet the, the head of the company. I said, Lord, thank you, Lord. I know you love me. I love you, Jesus, head of the church. All funny prayers I pray. Jesus has and me have good laugh also at later. Kya pray kya? It's okay to laugh. You can laugh at me and I, Jesus and me have. And the Lord said, I am with you. And then I, I said, Lord, yes, you are with me. You will give me the words and the utterance to speak to this man who is at levels and, you know, correct, no? Everybody says, CEO, CEO of company ko mila ka hai. Mere paas koi I don't have any koish like this. I always like to be where I am. But the Lord knows how to, you know, shake some people up and I am one of them. Right? And to make it even more better, I thought my boss would come. He felt sick. Kya baat hai? Bote na sone pe suha guys. Wah! I sing on the cake. He felt sick. La ha! And the Lord said, I am with you. And then I started praying, Lord, show me what to say. Lord, na 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 na. Ek hafta pahila full and unnecessary anxiousness. Lord, show me. Ha hum. The Lord said, I will tell you on that day. Rest. And I had to come to, you know, when they say it's a struggle to rest. Yes, practically I'm telling you, I had to just stop. I said, Lord, you are with me. Presentation has been made. Praise the Lord. I will rest. And God is so good. Two months in advance, he told me to make a presentation. I didn't know why. He said, make on this lines. 
And I said, okay, Lord. And I obeyed him. And I, I didn't know why I'm making. And my team didn't know why they're making. I said, all I said is in, in words of faith that God said in my heart, I said, what's going on? They're like, but what? And kuch bada ho gaya, tabhi hum dar gaye. Tabhi hum dar gaye. Correct, no? Hota hai na? Mere saath hi hota hai. Aap loo bhoj strong hai. Right? So three times I begged the Lord to take you away. And each time he said, my grace is all you need. My grace is all you need. And every time we are praying, Lord, take this, this financial situation away. Take this. It's, yes, he will take it away. He will change. He will he will, Lord, take this right now. But he says, in this moment, when you are walking through that valley, it is required. You know, I, if I didn't walk through what walk I had walked, I would have not been sharing with you. Right? So he says, my grace is all you need. My grace is all you need. And in the NKJV says, my grace is sufficient. My grace is all you need. And there is where, when, when we come up with situations that we don't know what to pray for and we are praying, Lord, take this away, change this man, take out this prime minister, take out the MLA, drop this guy. You go and say, Lord, your grace is sufficient for me. I know you are with me. Jesus, full of grace and truth, you are sufficient for me. My grace is all you need. My power Look at this. My power works best in weakness. And God, it's okay to be weak. It's okay to be weak. Please don't feel shy. Say, Lord, I don't know. Lord, you know the time you say, Lord, I know and I can do this. He says, okay, you function in your strength. You do it. And there's nothing wrong in that. But the day you say, Lord, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to talk to this man. I don't know what to do. Give me the words. Help me, Lord. And I have seen the mighty hand of God move and move and move when I am weak. I say, Lord, I don't know what to do. I know you are with me. I don't know what to say. I know you are with me. And the Lord is asking us for that. Right? He's asking us for that. Right? You know, he's asking us, come on. Let's see Joshua. Joshua. Chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. We are going to talk lots of I am with you. And then we'll see a story in Daniel 3. And all Bible scholars will know what the story is about. Joshua chapter 1, verse 5 and 6. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Moses is dead. Joshua is taking over Israel. He has been with Moses very, very long. Very important task. Now that they have come to the promised land, now they have come to the promise of God. Now it is revealed. Now you see, you can sense that you are praying for this big business breakthrough and there it stands in front of you. $10 million deal. What are you going to do? You are going to be scared. I would have been scared. Hey, come on. Joshua is standing. Full, big country. Moses, great leader. Red Sea, 10 commandments. Pharaoh, what a resume. Kya baat hai? Isko to abhi hire karne ka. Joshua? Kya kya tu ne abhi? Moses ka assistant hai. And then Joshua has seen them grumbling and Joshua has seen them. He, he is sitting in his tent and the Lord says, No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. There is God immediately, first day, first show, Joshua chapter 1. Joshua has not started to be leader. Moses is dead. God says, I am with you. Immediately, I am with you. Wherever you are going, new job, old job, whatever job, God is with you. God is with you. God is with you. Wherever you are going, God is with you. God is, remind yourself today, Lord, you are with me. Right? God is with you. And what he does, he just says, I will not leave you, nor forsake you. Be strong and have good courage for this people. You shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. This was a promise of 400 years ago. Now they are coming up to the promise. 400 years, they were just talking. They were talking. They were talking. Hone wale, hone wale. Are, aaj, aaj ho gaya hai. Kya karne ka hai? Oh, man. And Joshua was like, man, I hope Moses, he might have prayed also. You know why? Joshua didn't know Moses was dead. Read properly between 
Joshua and Deuteronomy, he didn't know Moses was dead because Moses didn't die in front of their eyes. He went to Mount Nebo, right? And the angels buried him. So nobody knows as Moses' grave. Why? It, right? Because then people would have gone and prayed to his grave and make idol worship out of him. Greatest leader in the history of Israel. You know that how they have their makbaras they make, right? If the great man dies, his tomb becomes a shrine. So God didn't want that to happen. So Joshua, uh, Moses went alone from Mount Nebo. He saw the promised land. He could not enter it. And he was buried. The angels buried him. Nobody knows where his body is. So Joshua really did not know. There was no Instagram. Moses didn't put hashtag dead or Facebook last day or not. Nothing. So God came and told. And there is Joshua. I praying and maybe hoping. Moses, aja, yaar. Tera jarurat hai bhi. Aja, Jordan, we are standing at transition. Come. And the Lord says, hey, hello, hi. Moses, my sir, go read the chapter. He says, Moses, I asked Lord, why you told him Moses is dead? He said, he didn't know. Oh, he went to Mount Nebo and that's so Just imagine. You are waiting, you are praying that your boss comes and your leader comes and or you are going to one place and you are praying uh, the pastor will come and pray for you. Wait, wait, and suddenly pastor is not coming. You pray. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry, you are going to go in such situations. That's why the Lord says, I am with you. I am with you. Let's look at Daniel chapter 3. Daniel chapter 3. I have, I am looking at the clock. Don't worry. Daniel chapter 3. Daniel chapter 3. Wonderful story. All know about the three guys, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Right? And their fiery furnace. Oh, you know the story. Let's see. So I'm starting at verse 16. Right? And then I'll read to verse 28. I'll, and the middle we'll talk about. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Daniel 3 was NLT. I'm reading from Daniel chapter 3. NLT was 16. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego replied, Oh Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. Ye king hai, ye tin, these guys were uh, rulers and princes in his kingdom. So they were men of influence. They were not some, don't think they were three just walking on the sadak pe and then they didn't worship. No, 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 no. Please read the book of Daniel. And those who, those who think God is not into politics, these were three politicians and Daniel was the most supreme politician. So read the book of uh, Daniel, it has lots to do with politics, right? So these three guys were not three lads sitting at the standing at the corner and eating some chana. They were three princes, they were ministers, they were men of renown. Because if you read this chapter, you know, the king did not go seeing, are ko nahi kar rahe? There were people who went and complained, so we'll see, right? So if you read the first verses before that, the men came and told, Oh my king, oh, they did chugli, and then the king said, Allah, unko lao, tino ko lao. right? And remember, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego were not original, they were Jews, they were not the inhabitants of the land of Persia. So, O Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, if we are thrown, they didn't say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, blazing furnace, stop. Stop right now. Sometimes I prayed such things. No furnace. This idol be destroyed in Jesus' name. Right? Daniel 3, there was an idol, right? They had to stand in front of the idol and worship. Read Daniel chapter 3, those are not read. And we are praying those prayers. And ask the Lord whether you need to pray those prayers. Lord, what should I do? Lord, I know you are with me. And when you ask Lord, what should I do? It's a total place of surrender of will. And a total place of facing Lord, what should I do? Lord, what should I pray? Because I don't know what to say. Even Jesus says, the words that I speak to you are not on my own. Means he has surrendered his very choice and will to speak to the Father. Father, what should I say? And so the father does the works. The father gives me the words. I say and the father does the work. So before you go into all spiritual warfare and you know, guns blazing, ask the Lord, Lord, do we need to pray against this temple? And if the Lord says yes, do it. Ask him. Because every time marching around Jericho seven times is not the answer. It's a type. If God wants you to march around some place seven times, he will tell you. Because Joshua didn't march around Jericho every every fort he didn't do seven times. Then it will become a tradition and a ritual. He did it once. That's because the Lord instructed he did once. He did once. 
right? I don't know who this is for, right? You are praying for something. Ask the Lord, should you be praying that prayer? Ask the Lord, because the Lord is saying you are not praying for what you are supposed to pray. Pray that, pray Ephesians 1. Say, Lord, I receive the spirit of wisdom, wisdom and revelation. And based on that, you pray. Just don't go guns blazing. Come on, guys. Okay. And that just came out. Okay. So, if we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God whom we serve is able will is able to save us. They said, if you throw us, God will save us. You don't worry about that. He will rescue us from your power. Your majesty. Very respectfully. Your majesty. He will rescue us from your majesty. Verse 18. But even if he doesn't, oh my Lord, what a statement. Even if he doesn't, we want to make it clear to you. Your majesty. Again, Pyar se. Your Majesty, that we will never serve your gods or worship the gold statue that you have set up. Think, Jobi hone do. We are not going to. If our, we know our ability of a God, and He will save us. But if He doesn't, they was my Jesus. This is this is this is Old Testament. They, this Old Testament. They didn't know the the message of grace, but yet they were they were functioning and talking about His grace. Like they didn't say, because I kept the law and the Ten Commandments and I'm circumcised. No. We know our God. He is able to save us. And even if it doesn't, we leave that decision to our God and our souls. Hey, guess what, Nebuchadnezzar? Your Majesty, we will not serve. Sometimes it's good to speak politely. Right? Many people will come and confront you about your faith and your beliefs. You say, this is, this is what I do. I say, mera vishwash hai, mera belief hai. Aap, I'm not going to force my opinions and belief on you. Don't fight with me. Your belief, your life, you enjoy. Sunne ka hai, to sunno, ne to rene. Thik hai? Right? Verse 24. Verse 24. The, in verse 21. You know, Nebuchadnezzar gets furious. He says, you know, light it up seven times, make it so hot. You see verse 21. And then they say the people who are carrying the, the soldiers who are carrying them in verse 20 to read it at home. We are running out of time. Oh, yes, we are running out of time. Right. He says the soldiers who are carrying the three men, they got burned. So these three, Shadrach and Meshach, were securely tied and they fell into the flames. So the guys who are carrying this, these people, I don't know how they carried them, they got consumed. It was really hot. It was really hot. The ones carrying, and these were men of valor. So he didn't pick up some, you know, men of valor. These were the strongest ones. Right. And here are these three Jew boys. These three Jew men. Right. And verse 24. But suddenly Nebuchadnezzar jumped up with amazement and exclaimed to his advisors, Didn't we tie three men? And throw them into the furnace. Yes, your majesty. He suddenly did. I see four men. I see four men. I see four men. And he says, look. Nebuchadnezzar started. I see four men walking around in the fire. Unharmed. And the fourth looks like a god. And the fourth. This is what I want to drive home. Don't pray for the furnace, my friend. And this is for me. I'm talking to myself also. Don't pray for the furnace. Don't pray for the valley. Pray that Lord and thank him. Lord, you're with me. I know you're with me. Even in this situation, even in 2023, what 2023 has, I don't know. But I know in 2023 and in 2024 and 2025, you are with me. You're with me on this Monday. You're with me on tomorrow. You're with me day after. You are with me, with me. This is what we have to know about our God. Verse 28 and this is the last verse and we are closing. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise to the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Kya baat hai, believer ho gaya ho. Praise to the God of Shadrach, Meshach and, and Abednego. This same person, some verses ago, was going to finish them. Upset, angry, jalado, wanted to make tandoori out of them, burn them up. Now, he's praising the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He sent his angel to rescue his servants and who trusted them. They defied the king's command and were willing to die. I am reading the Bible only. Eh? Rather than serve and worship any god except their own god. Therefore, I make this decree. If any person, whether their race, 
or nation or language speak a word against the god of shadrach meshach and abednego they will be torn limb from limb and their houses will be turned into heaps of rubble there is no other god who can rescue like this this is a pagan king who has been now changed looking at three guys who knew and understood my god is with me and i wrote in my notes that verse 28 daniel 328 couldn't be possible if daniel 316 was not there think about it if those boys had not to go into the furnace why would they write it in the bible why would they write this account of history they had to go in the furnace and there are times where you are going through your furnace because there is a nebuchadnezzar who is sitting high up there and saying there is a god and the god of alistair he saves the god of alistair he saves the god of alistair rescues you didn't listen is but the god now guess what i am making a rule they'll worship your god and no other god right and there is where we stop today i just want to say this god is with you right god is with you god is with you god is with you god is with you whatever you are going through is not it, god loves you man you're not going through because he doesn't love you or you have sinned or some generational curse man 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 please christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law god is with you and even as you are walking that walk say lord you are with me show me and teach me lord you are with me help me to know you are with me and even as you go through the word you know you 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 may walk through that situation and there are times we walk through certain situations right and i'm talking from experience but we walk knowing that god is with us my prayer life has changed is changing i've stopped saying lord stop the furnace and take up with the fire or kill nebuchadnezzar no said no. so, lord you are with me lord you are with me amen thank you for coming god is with